We're now going to take a look at how a point of sales terminal works in a transaction processing system. So basically, the point of sales terminal is connected to a server. And that server would obviously be connected to a number of point of sales terminals. When you walk into Coles, you see a whole range of them. Some of them self-serve, some of them with someone there doing the actual processing for you. When we take our items up to the point of sales terminal, each time an item is scanned, it goes to a product database, which obviously has how much it costs, what the product is, and information about each specific product. It gets scanned and it will tell the price to the point of sales terminal. The point of sales terminal then has to record that that product has been purchased. Okay, and it develops a whole list of the products that is being purchased in that transaction. Once this purchase has been recorded then, it needs to access the inventory database. The inventory database records how many of that specific product is on hand. Now this is important to managers because once that inventory gets to zero, more of that actual product needs to be ordered. Now the management information system can be in place to automatically order new products once their inventory has reached zero. Okay, and this report can also be created so that the manager can see how much of each product is left each day after a day of transactions. The point of sales terminal then does all the actual products purchased by the customer and then prints up a receipt for the customer, ending the transaction with a paper copy for the customer. So I hope you understand that overview of how a point of sales terminal is used for conducting a transaction. Understand that there are three separate databases involved here. One for accessing each of the products that can be purchased by a customer, one for recording the actual purchasing of each product, and one for the inventory of each product.